Hi everyone, this is Cecilia Hillway. I'll be showing you how to make a Makeybit Santa sleigh. First, you're gonna need a Makeybit mobile kit, and you're gonna need to print the templates that we're providing. You're gonna need a long piece of cardboard, about 15 inch long at least, some tape or glue, uh, some painter marker, um, cutting tools, whatever you're comfortable with, a couple of female to female jumper wires and a red LED and a ruler. The first thing you need to do is to cut the templates carefully along the outlines. There are a few holes that need to be cut out like the eyes of the characters and a hole for the micro bits. For Rudolph it's going to be a special case because we're going to actually mount him into a piece of cardboard. The corrugation of the cardboard needs to be parallel to the reindeer. Once we mount uh, one of the layers on one side, we're gonna add the second layer on the other side of the cardboard. That way it'll look good from both sides. Having the car cardboard be parallel to the reindeer will make it so you can insert the LED and the wires through the holes uh, of the cardboard. That way you can have the LED on his nose. Once you have all the pieces cut out and Rudolph mounted on the cardboard, you're ready to cut the cardboard piece. This cardboard piece is gonna be a long piece. Um, the measurements do not have to be exact, but make sure that the corrugation is perpendicular to the length of the piece. The most important uh, measurement is the middle one, which is eight and a half centimeters or about three and one third inches. After you cut it out, you can mark the folds by stabbing it with a ruler. Um, once you have the, the folds marked, you can paint it black. This is a uh, aesthetic preference. I'm using just a marker for that. Now that I have all the pieces, it's time to dress up your makey bits. So you can place the costumes that you made on top of them. You can add some tape if you want to uh, have a more firm grip, but it's not necessary. Then you need to uh, fold the pieces for the back and all the tabs for the sleigh. For the curls in the back and the front of the sleigh, you press the paper while pulling it on the edge of the table. If necessary, manually make the curl curls better by rolling them with your fingers. Now we'll tape or glue the parts onto the buggy. I like taping them so it's um, a less permanent fit. Do the sides first and then glue the back onto the tabs. You can also use uh, tape to hold it in place if the glue is not enough. It's time to attach the cardboard piece you cut directly onto the front of the buggy with tape. You can use glue for a stronger bond. Once the cardboard piece is attached to the buggy, you can then glue the front piece of the template to the tabs. It's a bit tricky, so you can use hot glue if you need a quicker glue. I used a non-bleed black marker to color the back of the two non-Rudolph reindeer. Uh, the marker um, needs to be non-bleed so it doesn't ruin the print. This is just for aesthetics. Glue the two reindeer to the sides of the cardboard piece. Since we want the illusion that they're floating, glue them high enough so that their legs don't touch the ground. For Rudolph, we're gonna insert the jumper wires through the holes in the corrugation of the cardboard. Uh, that way we can get the LED and the wires through the nose. Plug the LED directly to the jumper wires, keeping track of which leg of the LED is connected to which color wire, because the long leg is positive. After you make a slot hole in Rudolph's body, you can insert him onto the front uh, of the cardboard piece. You can add glue if you need, but it's, if it's a tight fit, you will not need it. Again, try to make sure that the, when inserted, Rudolph's feet do not touch the ground. Connect the positive connection of the LED to P1 and the negative to ground in the back of the makey bit. Your project is ready for some code. There are several ways to code the sleigh and the remote control. I'll be showing you one of the easiest ones, and as you get more comfortable with coding, you can add more details to them, make the movements of the sleigh smoother. We'll be using makecode.org for our code. We will need to make two files, one for the remote and one for the sleigh. 
The first thing to do is make sure that the radio uh, set group for both of the files is the same so that two microbits can talk to each other. The thumbstick of the remote is a sensor that gives you values from 0 to 1023 on either P0 or P2, depending on which direction and how far you move the stick. To make it easier and to have more margin of error, the code is only looking for values from 0 to 350 for one direction and from 700 to 1023 on the other. Anything bigger than 350 but smaller than 700 is not measured as a movement and tells the slate to stop. By sending the strings or messages uh, via radio signal, you can then program the slate to receive those strings and to do behaviors accordingly. P1 is used for the button of the controller, which in my case turns Rudolph's nose on or off. Now we need to make the code for the sleigh. The sleigh receives the signal from the remote control, and depending on which string it receives, it performs different actions. That way, if it receives the signal forward, the servo motors can run in the direction that makes the sleigh move forward. Since you have two servo motors that are pointing in opposite directions in the sleigh, the code to move forward has to be a positive number for one of the sides and negative on the other. If they were both positive, the sleigh would just go in circles. To make the sleigh turn to one side or the other, the code makes just one servo move depending on which direction you want to turn. In my case, I added the code for the nose as well. After you're done with each of the programs, make sure you download them to the corresponding microbits. Now you can test the buggy and the remote. If your test is successful, you can add final details like a, a bag for presents in the back. And um, now you have to learn to drive because you have some deliveries to make. I hope you enjoyed this project and are inspired to make your own. Remember, learn to drive before you go out. Bye.